ask you about Trevin. You really liked him a lot, or you spoke highly of him before you guys played Missouri last year. What's it been like for you getting to be a little bit hands-on with him and, and coaching him now? Yeah, I mean, he made uh, he made two threes uh, the other day in practice, Scotty. Um, you know, threes that maybe, you know, we haven't seen a big guy make where he shot fake to close out, took a sidestep three off the bounce, um, and then he followed it up the next possession um, with a deep three. So, And that's an evolving part of his game. I'm not saying that he's arrived as a, as a three-point shooter, but I am saying that he has – what we've seen in practices with him and um, a few of the other guys is like degree of difficulty shots that maybe – you know, just don't happen. But from a spot shooting standpoint, that's where we have to improve as a team. But getting back to TB, I thought playing against him that he was a guy like, if you look into the future, had tremendous upside. Um, and he, we still feel that way. You know, he's so long, he can shoot, he can run, he can block shots, uh, has to get stronger. We hope that he becomes more confident as well as a player. Just, just real quick, just early impressions maybe of, of Ricky and, and Jalen Graham and, and how they fit. Yeah, um, first of all for Jalen, I don't know if he's ever if he's ever worked this 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 hard. I mean, that, those are kind of his words. I think that um, you know what's demanded in the sand pit, what's demanded in the weight room, what's demanded um, you know in practice. Um, so I think all that he's still you know. But he can score the basketball with his back to the basket. He's got a great floater, great touch. Um, we feel he can rebound. You know, this was a this was a week that we need. You know, we're going to have to talk to him about going to the glass a little bit more. Um, but uh, a guy that's really fitting in with the guys off the floor. And then Ricky, um, I mean, he has like he has at least one wow moment every practice, at minimum one. Um, it might be a dunk. It might be a. Uh, it might be a, a finish in, uh, in traffic. Um, but he's he plays with an incredible energy. I've never had a player in five on zero oh skeleton when we dry run our opportunity break um, in transition. I've never had a player in all the years, including the NBA minor league. I've never had a player run the wing so hard in five on zero oh skeleton dummy offense. Um, Maybe to some coaches they think, you know, they just mention it in a staff meeting. To me, it's, it's going to factor in his playing time that he runs that hard, quite frankly. Um, and he's doing it in five on O. Because what all this is about is who do you trust by how they conduct themselves daily in practice. And I got a lot of trust in Ricky, I can tell you that right now, just by how hard he's running, playing, doing the things that we want.